Question three. This table shows the increase in bus fares. So we've got the old fare in the first column and the new fare in the second column. Let's scroll down and see what we've got to do. It says, Sohan's new bus fare is 72p. How much has his bus fare gone up? Well, if his new fare is 72p, that's there in the table. So his old fare must have been 60p. So the question is, how much has it gone up? So new is 72p, old is 60p. How much has it gone up is going to be the difference. Some of you can probably do this bit in your head. Well, the difference between 72 and 60, 2 take away 0 is 2, 7 take away 6 is 1, so it's 12p. So he's gone up 12p from 60p to 72p. 12p needs to go in that answer box. Second part of the question says, Millie says, my bus fare has gone up by 10p. How much is Millie's new bus fare? So if we go back to the table, we could see how much each one has gone up. And then whichever one is 10p, that's the one we need to look at. So 42 to 48p is up 6p. 52 to 57 is up 5p. 60 to 72, we've already said that one, is up 12p. 75 to 85 is up 10p. 90 to £1.5 is up 15 pence. And £1.20 to £1.28 is up 8 pence. So, quick check at what we were asked for. Millie says her bus fare has gone up 10 pence. What is her new bus fare? Well, the only one that's gone up 10 pence is this one here. So, that must be Millie's. So a new bus fare is 85 pence, because that's the new one. If you write 75 pence in, you're not reading the question, because that's the old bus fare. It asks you for the new bus fare, so it's got to be 85 pence. And that's what you write in the answer box.